Hi guys, hello, hello. It's Darlene with Jock Couture. I got puppies already here. I wanted to be up. What do you want? You just want attention all the time, Chloe. Hi, Coco Bear. Oh, my little Chloe, Chloe. And here comes Marley. They come running. They hear me say that. <laughs> They're like, I want to be on there. Come here, Mar. Mar, Mar. Mar, Mar. Come here. No. How are you guys? Oh my goodness. I'm tired. My dogs did not let me sleep last night. So I'm going to be taking a little short nap. Hi, baby. She wants up too. Uh, hopefully you can see her. Hey, hi. See, I was a little stinker last night. I was up, down, up, down, up, down, and didn't let mama sleep. So um, I'll be taking a little short nap before I drive home today. Yeah. <laughs> you're so cute, but you're a stinker too. Yeah. Um, how are you guys? Happy Tuesday. We're going to make a, a snow globe. Okay. So I hope they work. <laughs> All I can see is I hope they work. I might have to go grab another glue stick. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll have to go grab another glue stick with this. Anyways, I have snow globes. We've made them before, but we're going to do them with our Santa. We're going to do it with our hurry down the chimney. So I'll show you in just a second here. Let me make sure I'm live. Just say hello so that I know that you're out there. And let me put you to... I'm a little tired today. Um, they, they're stinkers. I just... I just didn't sleep good at all. So not a good thing when you have to drive. Um, yeah, so I'll be waiting for a little while. <laughs> Even if I have to wait a while. I have no deadline on when I have to be home. So um, no big deal if I leave a little bit later. I was off today also from work. So if I get there afternoon, I said I'll be back by noon. Um, if it's if it's later than that, who cares? <laughs> who cares, right? <laughs> so, anyways, here's our project, guys. Look at how cute. So I, I made snow globes with Santa. Um, just did partial Santa, and with the ho ho ho, I thought that would be cute. And then I have um, the little cabin with the with the trees I thought that would be super cute I'm just gonna do this one in blues and my um, shimmer frost so I think what I'll do is you know I don't even have the right blue <laughs> I have bright blue it is not the blue that I want I, I may paint it with I think I have shimmer and hang on just a second I'm gonna go see if I have my blue shimmer that I might paint that with after I put that on there that might be a better idea. Let me see. What's up? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, actually. Actually, so I'll paint it blue, but then I'm going to go over it with the shimmer moonlight. <laughs> and then this will be red. And I don't have anything else to go over that with. But um, just say hello if you're out there watching. I am probably going to leave myself out of the corner today. I'm feeling really tired today. <laughs> oh, my heavens. Let me see who's here. If you're not a designer, please sprinkle. I would appreciate it. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Good morning. Hi, hi Ilsa. Hi, Cynthia. Good morning, Betty. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Carrie. Hello, Bridget. Hi, Karen West. Good morning, Tony. Oh, you are such a good daughter. That That's nice that she has you to help. Hi, Doris, my sister. Hi, Sue. Feeling almost human again. <laughs> it's taking a little while, huh? Excited to get back into crafts. Yes, I know. Everybody's been asking where you're at. But you know what? Sometimes we have to take the time for our family and for our responsibilities and now it's time for you. <laughs> now you can get, get back to being creative. <laughs> Hi, Cynthia. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Deb, my sister. Um, yep, Tony, that is, that is absolutely just fine. Thank you for popping in and saying hi. I appreciate that. Hi, Carol. How are you? Hi, Karen. Good morning. Hi, Christy. You was awake all night, too. It is not fun. I Usually, I am just I'm asleep. You know what? You know, the weird thing was that Marley started barking during the night. <laughs> and maybe I should put myself up in the corner. I'm tired though. I'll tell you. I'll tell you I'm tired. Not a good thing. So, oopsie, let's try this again. 
um, started barking like there was somebody outside and oh, I was just too exhausted to get up, you know? And if there was somebody outside and they heard a dog barking, they don't know the size of that dog, right? She was barking ferociously in the kitchen and I was like, great. Um, they're probably just an animal. You know, we get bears here. We get, um, we get mountain lions, we get kitty cats, we get other dogs. So it could have been anything out there. Didn't need necessarily have to be human. I leave my lights on my front porch, my back porch on so that people can see if somebody's going to break in. I have my gun with me if I have to <coughs> protect myself. But yeah, so she, so she was barking at the, at the, in the kitchen and I was like, I am not getting up because <laughs> I don't want to, I'm going to sit here in denial and have my phone. And if I have to download one, when, then I will. But anyways, um, yeah, I just didn't sleep good last night. Not a fun thing. Okay. We're going to be painting this. Um, <laughs> dogs can, yeah, they sure can keep you awake, huh? Hi, Chris. Hi, Sonia. Hi, April. Hope you guys had a good night that you guys slept. I did a lot of fun things yesterday. Can I show you some of them? So I, I posted pictures, but I want, to, I want you to see how big these are. Okay, so these are large size. These are the little pilgrims that I did. Aren't they so cute? I just think they're adorable. The boy and the girl. So on the girl's apron, it says thankful, grateful, blessed. I just think that so, so fun. So those are little pilgrims. I got, I got four of each of those done. And then I have some other things I got done too. <laughs> Let me show you this. So I, I finally got this painted. So I have a sample of, I have, I have this posted on, uh, in the Shopify website. So it was already posted, but I hadn't painted it yet. Isn't he cute? A little scarecrow gnome. So I forgot my jute for this one and I didn't have any ribbon. And then these guys, gnome to bite. <laughs> and he's biting at candy, at candy corn. Isn't that cute? I did have ribbon for that. And actually this one was an oopsie. It had an oopsie on the back. Um, so I had to put a ribbon. So a lot of times I will, I'll save those for Sue or I will um, put them where I can use them. And then this one trick or treat. So these are just some of the new ones that are all posted. Actually, I don't know if I, yeah, I did post it, but I didn't post the raw picture. I just posted the painted picture. Isn't that cute? Lots of fun things yesterday. Lots and lots. So those ones I like, I did two of the scarecrow ones and one of the, each of the other ones. But um, getting four each of the, um, of the, whatever. <laughs> getting four each of the Thanksgiving ones done was a lot. What else did I get done? I thought I got something else done. What else did I post? I don't know. Anyways, I, I got a lot of stuff done yesterday. Yay, I did. Oh, oh what was the other signs I got done? Oh yeah, guys, let me show you the other signs I got done. Okay. I know, I should just be starting this because this is gonna take a little while. I got all these done, but I didn't bring jute. <laughs> so I have, I've had these listed and I just hadn't painted them yet, so welcome. And then, hello. And I did just random colors. These will sell really good at my craft show. Because uh, that would be cute just in a bedroom. Don't you think? Welcome home. And I just use, I just use kind of random colors. Hello. And then um, the welcome birdhouse. So Janine, um, I know you and Kirsten are going to do a project with this. So here's what I came up, up with. I thought it was super cute. All right. So all of those lots. So just one of each of those. <laughs> onesies. A lot of onesies yesterday. All right, so I need to move those and stack those. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Lots of hello signs. Yes, yeah, there was such a variety of them. I couldn't decide which ones to make and which not to, so I just made one of each. So um, I, they'll be really cute at my craft show. I'm excited to take everything to my craft show. Hi, Janine. Yes, I got the signs done. Finally, I took. I told you I brought them with me, and I got them. Got them done. Okay, so Santa. Um. Oh, you know what? We don't need the transfers yet. Let's paint first. Let's paint our stuff first. We're gonna paint these. Okay. And I have the big snow globes. I hope this turns out. <laughs> you 
you know, it always does somehow. But these are the big snow globes. I have these left over from last year. I think I have about 20 available. So you can order your own snow globes. I don't know where to put my trash. <laughs> but this is the size that goes in here. And um, I will have these available. I'll have, I think I have about 20 of them. The size is approximately six inches. Um, actually, it's a little bit bigger, like six and an eighth. <clears throat> so anyways, that's what fits in here. Some, got, some of you guys have purchased them before. So we're going to paint this up, and then we're going to put some of this in there. I couldn't, <clears throat> I'm going to lose my voice. I couldn't find my little sprinkly, um, sparkly stuff, which I like better than this. This is going to stick to my hands, and it's going to be all staticky, but um, we'll still use it. Okay, let's get painting. Where's my board? <laughs> oh my goodness, can you buy one of the finished pieces? Oh, um, you, you could um, absolutely do that. So just send me a message. I'm going to be taking them to my craft show, so yes, you absolutely can purchase it, for sure. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah, everything is always, pretty much always for sale. Okay, I'm trying to move stuff around because I have to bring my big board, and I have a glue gun plugged in here, so I don't want to knock that off. And I need to move these guys. <laughs> Let's just move everything. <laughs> I just need a bigger table, but... um. You know, sometimes you just got to make do with what you have, right? Okay, here's my board. Let's get stuff painted. On Santa, I actually did kind of trace out the different things on him. So I will be painting his face. I'm going to be painting everything white first. And because we're going to chalk him in red and black. Okay, so so he'll, he'll be white first. And then I'm going to go in and do face and that kind of stuff. And then this is just going to be red. Okay, so his is just his is just gonna be red, and then I'm um, gonna do this my blue, and I'll do the shimmer um, over that. Okay, so these are pretty easy. All right, three paint brushes. Let's get started. Let's do this first so that it can be dry, so that we can do all of the little details. So what I did was I scored. I scored where his face and everything was so you can see where you need to paint other colors. Okay, so I have I have other colors to do that. Let's just get the white. Let's just get all of his white on there. And then we'll go back and we'll painstakingly do the little stuff. Okay, and I hope it turns out. <laughs> I actually haven't chalked Santa yet. Can you believe that? I love the Santa, but I just hadn't done it yet. Um, and some people are just doing him completely red. I kind of wanted to do what details, like do part of it black and part of it red. So we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> you can just hang with me and we'll see how things turn out. Cause you know what? I am always up to trying stuff like that because you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> All right. How are you, Kristen? And Chris, um, good morning. Continue prayers for those people in the height. Yes, exactly. Um, let us do all we can. Um, it has been terrible over there. Um, it, I, I have donated through um, several different places. I actually found through the Maui Brewing Company is able to get stuff in there. Here's the maddening thing. Oh, gosh, I think I grabbed the wrong color. You know what? I guess it's going to be this color. I'm not going to go back in there. It's going to be a deep red. Okay. So um, it's been really bad because some of the government agencies have actually taken um, the things that have been sent over there. So I don't know this 100%, but that's what I'm told by people that are over there that um, some of the donations have just been seized and they want to control them rather than them coming into different nonprofits and they, and they um, distributing them. I was told that, well, um, Maui Brewing Company is kind of taken it into their own hands and they are distributing to the, the, the locals that need it. So they had an Amazon list that I was able to donate through. However, a lot of this stuff takes a long time. But I figured that even if I donate now and it doesn't get there till next week, at least it will be there some at some point. So 
I did water. I did like six cases of water, but it won't be there till the 24th, but it will be there eventually. So um, at some point they'll get it. And then I did um, baby, baby food and I did snacks like, um, like the snack packs. And then I did um, ramen soup. So those will actually be there tomorrow. So um, it's, there is, there are some Amazon lists that you can purchase stuff and send directly to Maui Brewing Company, which is over there um, in Maui and is able to get it to the local people that need it. So, so that was the key thing is that I've donated to the Salvation Army because they are preparing meals um, for people in the shelters and and for people that just want to just need to eat so I've donated to them and then also to there's a Maui group that another one I don't remember even what it was but anyways a local group so I'm trying to donate every week now because I can do that if I can donate you know fifty dollars a week or fifty dollars um, every other week that's great that will, everything will help right so yeah, getting it to the proper people, because I don't always, I don't always trust the officials. I don't know why. Why, why don't we trust the officials? <laughs> because we're trained not to. We're trained not to because um, they have let us down. So sorry, sorry, sorry if you're in that industry, if you're in that work. But um, sorry to to have to say that. But okay, this color is not the color it's going to be. I just need a base color, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the shimmer moonlight. When there's disasters, um, it's it's really hard because people need stuff now, and it's not happening, you know. And and you just get so frustrated that FEMA can't can't get it to them, and the Red Cross can't get it to them, and you have local people. I know Ika Ika from from the Big Island is bringing things ashore in a in a private area <laughs> he has his own little area where he's bringing things ashore and they are like forming a human chain from these boats and offloading all of the supplies and carrying them up the beach and then they're distributing so there's a lot of a lot of efforts over there going on to help the people not everybody is getting reached you know and the fact that um they are telling us the locals over there are telling us that, sorry to be all political or whatever, I usually don't, I don't think it's political, but I, I have a passion for the Hawaiian people. I love them. They are great people. Um, a lot of the people over there are not Hawaiian. They're from other countries that are working to help support their families. And it's just hard to see this happening to them. It really is hard. So I, it, makes, it gets me all worked up. <laughs> Sorry guys, it does. So if you're able to help them at all um, through, just make sure it is through an, an agency that um, can actually help help them and get it to the people and it's not seized by FEMA. Um, we don't want that. We don't want it in their hands because they're not always gonna do the right thing. Sorry, but we had wildfires in our area and we know how that is. We know how that goes. Um, I'll look at comments here in a second. There's probably a lot. But you probably all agree, right? It is not always done in the right manner. Sometimes people have to take it into their own hands. Churches are doing that. The Mormon church is doing that. The um, the BFWs. So the local the local BFW in um, in Lakeside is um, ha is getting um, donations. Lakeside where I live is getting donations and sending them over to the VFW over in Maui. So people are making connections. They're figuring it out somehow. And mail is getting in and out because the airport was not destroyed. So they, they are um, able to get stuff. Okay. Things that they need. They need, they need simple things, guys. They need simple little things like underwear, <laughs> feminine products, diapers, formula, um, socks, you know, all the simple little things they need, clothing, you know, they, they lost everything. So these people lost their homes and they're saying there's probably a thousand dead where on the news, it's not even at a hundred, right? So anyways, your son works for Costco. Costco has been a great help. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. 
and and even if you just donate time in going to help someone some place that is coordinating donations it's great um the, okay yeah i'll post my i'll post my donation link um yeah it's maddening that they're not getting more help um give to the salvation or yes um they will get it there um i believe that and i did that already um all the signs are oh thank you Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Going back and looking. Sorry, sorry to get all worked up about that, but we're getting stuff painted. Okay, so let me dry this. And then I think we have to put a second coat on the red. That's the red that I used was actually really, it was a Lizarin crimson. So it's like a deep burgundy. Let's dry this though. And let's get a second coat on those. And then we'll do our details on our Santa. I'm going to be putting Shimmer Moonlight on this next. So I want it to be a dark blue. I didn't bring dark blue with me. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. I just didn't, you know. So. I've had a really fun time up here. I just didn't sleep the best night. That's all. And I don't trust myself to drive when I'm feeling that way. So I will make sure I take another nap. I'll sleep for at least an hour. And if I have to pull off on the way home, I'll do that. It's not unusual. If I'm tired, I'll just pull off. Sometimes I'll pull off and I'll sit in a in a Starbucks parking lot. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, the red definitely needs a second coat. This needs to have um, the shimmer moonlight. And I don't have a big, a big, um, let me grab another brush. I have one right over here. Hang on. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun just making stuff. <laughs> I needed to get away. You know, we all need to get away sometimes, right? We all need to get away. Okay, my red needs another coat. Let's do red first, and then we'll do our shimmer moonlight on this. We really don't have to do the inside um, because, well, we actually we do um, because it's going to be up against there. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I lied. We do have to do, we have to do the whole thing. We don't have to do the outside because it's going to be covered. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'll just do the whole thing. So I'll be packing. It takes me about an hour to pack. I have a lot of craft stuff um, that I brought with me. Some of it didn't even come out of the boxes. I'll have lots of kits at home to continue painting. My goal will be to paint something every night. That's going to be my goal. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to get some projects, more projects done for my craft show that I set up for at the end of the month. And because I have two craft shows back to back. So that always concerns me when I have two craft shows back to back. And honestly, I've been selling a ton of the finished goods at my craft shows. So um, I want to make sure that I have a lot. Okay, so I have my Shimmer Moonlight. I'm just gonna open it and just squirt it right onto there and let's hope that it's going to be enough. I have two of them. They don't sell this. It came in one of the little packets. So I am hoping, oops, cut it far enough, darling. <laughs> you have to play meditation music to sleep. Oh, see, I'm, I usually, um, all that paint, no dark blue. Yes, Kirsten, all that paint, no dark, no dark blue. About 200 bottles of paint with me and no dark blue. Imagine that. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I have I have my Shimmer Moonlight right here and I have two packets of it. We'll try it. We'll try it out. We'll see if it works. Oh yeah. It's going to work fine. <laughs> it just had to have a base coat. So I don't just paint this directly onto something. I would always do a base coat because it's kind of um, transparent in a way. So yeah, this is gonna be really pretty. I will get all of this covered. And then this one we're gonna chalk in white. This one's really easy. The Santa is the one that's going to give me challenges. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. It's okay though. We, you know what? Um, if we didn't have challenges, then what would life be? It would be boring, right? We'd wake up and our day would just be really boring. So. I always try to do something that challenges my brain <laughs> every day. Okay, I have way too much. I'm going to take some of this off because I don't want it to be glob. Oh, actually, I need some for down here. You know what? I think we're going to have just enough. I need some for down here. This is going to be really pretty. 
I love the shimmer. I kind of wanted to do the shimmer anyways, so hey, that worked out, right? I was looking last night, I'm going, Darlene, you do not have any dark paint. I was getting anything, everything ready right before bed, as I normally do with my projects. I get everything laid out so that in the morning, I don't even have to think about it. I just walk out here, my project is ready. <laughs> I sit down and I do it, and I'm like, no paint. But hey, I happen to bring Shimmer Moonlight with me. And um, that's great. It has little sparkles in it. I love it. Okay, that's going to be really pretty. That is going to be perfect, guys. Perfect, I say. All right, so um, I'm not going to do another coat on the red, even though it probably could use it. It probably would be really pretty. I wonder if I have shimmer. Let me look. I have this whole thing here. Do you think I have shimmer? Um, shimmer red. That would be really pretty. Let me scoop this over somewhere. Let me just, let me just stick it right there. I wonder if I have shimmer um, crimson in here. I have everything. <laughs> I have so many colors, but do I have shimmer crimson? Because that would be really pretty on there. Do you think I do? Um, probably not. Probably not. I have a lot. So this was a bag that I just had packed. I took it, I take it on trips sometimes and it has all of my little packets. I'm not finding any. No, okay, so it's just going to be red, <laughs> and it's okay, it will be fine, so it's going to be red, I, I can see some stuff on this side, let me just get this side, okay, let's paint our details on our Santa, so we did white, and now we're going to do a little bit of color on him, we're going to do the face, okay, so, and we're going to do the eyes, I don't even know, maybe I should do blue eyes, I don't even know, maybe, maybe I should do blue eyes, it's hard to know, because here's the Santa, and here's this detail, okay? So actually the eyes I don't need to do because the eyes are going to be chopped, okay? So we're gonna leave that. We'll leave that. We're just gonna do part of the face. We'll do the tongue. The tongue should be red, right? <laughs> I have my little brushes here to do this. So I just wanted a little bit of detail. I thought I just want some flesh color here. So I'm using my warm beige and I'm just gonna do a little bit of, of flesh color in here. So I can see it, see I painted it, and I can still see where I scored, okay? So I don't know if this is going to work out, we'll see. But I think I don't need to do the eyeballs because you actually chalk the eyeballs. So um, yeah, I'm just going to try it out. We're going to try it and see if it works. That way, that way we know, right? Um, otherwise, we just, whoopsie, <laughs> we won't know those things. So all right, I'm going to do the tongue. I need to make sure I wash all of these brushes because they're new brushes. I do the tongue red. I'm just going to grab a little bit of this. I'm just going to open this. You know that when you open it, there's always just a little bit right here in that. I'm just going to grab some of that. <laughs> I'm going to do this tongue. And then the buttons, I'm going to do gold. Okay, so I have, and then I have black. So I have black for the, for the, um, belt and I have gold for that part. Do I have another tiny brush? I don't have another tiny brush, do I? <laughs> Let me just wipe this one off. Maybe I can use this with the gold. Maybe. Okay. And I got, I see, I can't, I can't do anything without getting messy. Okay, gold for the butt, buckles. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Terry. I hope you have a great day. <laughs> okay, here's gold. I haven't used this one yet. This one says um, glorious gold. Yeah. Challenges, guys. <laughs> I'm just going to dump some out instead of, instead of using my teeth. Just need a tiny bit, guys. Just a tiny bit for that. Um, I don't have my stylus in here either. No, it's okay. Okay, so I just need a little bit of gold for the buttons. Okay. Um, you can look at this and where it is dark teal, that part is not going to be chalked. The rest of it's going to be chalked. So that's where I knew what to do when I created this file. And I decided that, hey, I want to do this part gold or this part black. So the buckle is going to be gold. Okay. And oh, guess what? I didn't continue over there. I'll have to fix the file. I will have to fix the file before I sell this because as you can see on the other side, there is part of the, the belt. Okay, so 
Um, I'll just pretend we're just gonna fake that part. <laughs> I don't know. Squirrels, so many squirrels sometimes, right? Okay, there's that. Okay, I need some black. I have some black right here for the belt, okay? So, and the rest of it, we're just gonna leave it and we're gonna chalk it, okay? So we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm hoping it turns out. I'm not gonna, I could do the eyes. It's already gonna be black, um, but I could do them with blue or I could do them, yeah, I could do them with blue and then around it will be black. I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. I'm kind of thinking I just leave the eyes because I think it's gonna be chalked. <laughs> I can always go in and I can fill it in, right? Afterwards, I could take a stylus and fill it in. So I want to do the belt part, I'm being really careful. And I'm going to guess at where the other side is because I messed up and I didn't do it. So I'm going to kind of look at this and see where this other part is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Darlene didn't finish the file. <laughs> I'll go in and fix that and also inside inside of the gold inside of the gold is supposed to be black okay so let me just kind of fill that in okay so that should be black and we'll see how this turns out I don't know maybe maybe it's not gonna turn out <laughs> we'll do a little bit of this black okay and then we're just gonna dry all right so we'll dry this and then we will do this one last. We'll let this one kind of dry a lot. We're gonna do this other one first. So let's dry everything. Let's move all that stuff. I have way too much stuff. <laughs> way too much stuff. <laughs> okay, let me dry. And then we can get going on this. And we will do our snow globe, okay? I hope it turns out. <laughs> I think it's going to, I think it's gonna look nice. I missed the corner there. I need to fix that. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. Yep. As it dries, you can see where you missed. All right, looking good, guys. Looking good, guys. Looking really good. <laughs> I want to make sure that is all dry before I chalk on it. You do not want to chalk on anything that is still wet. It will not be good for your transfer. It is a no-no. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay, dry. And I want to move this board. So I want to move all this stuff. This is all my background. It might be too much blue. We'll see. I should have probably had more of a contrast, but you know what? This is the way that we learn. This is the way we go. Okay, when you do it, you do it differently, right? So that's how we learn is by doing and let me be the one that fails at it, right? If anyone's going to fail, let me be the one that fails. Okay, so Santa's going to be right in here. And then we're going to put little snow globe stuff and put the, we're going to put the snow globe on there. It's a big one. And then I, I don't have ribbon with me. I'll add ribbon at home. Yeah, some, of the, some of the stuff I forgot. It's okay. That's a little bit wet right there. Let me just dry that really quickly. I can see that that is wet. You could actually chalk directly onto here instead of having to do this cutout. But the cutout just makes it... Um, have dimension. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be fine. I think it's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, I missed the, I missed the side on this, Darlene. Let me just try it one more time. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Silver would be really pretty around the edge. I could add silver. Like if if it's too much, I could add silver. Right? I have silver with me. Should I do? Should I do silver background? Should I do silver background on this? You guys decide before I put it together. Decide if I should do silver background. This might be too much. We'll do this one first. Because if we have to go in, we might do silver um, behind it. If, it. if it's, or shimmer frost. Well, shimmer frost is what we're gonna chalk with. Okay, all right, let's move this board and let's chalk. Let's do this. I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna turn out. And it's hard, it's hard in here. There's not enough room. <laughs> I can't stand up. <laughs> Hi, Shelly. How are you? Hi, Tina. Thanks for sprinkling. We're doing our fun little thing. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to do another color, guys. It's going to be too much. The same color. So tell me what I should do. If I should do silver. Oh, I know what I should do. I should do this silver, right? Should I do the background silver? 
Um, let me chalk this first to show you. So this is going to be shimmer frost. I'm going to do shimmer frost. So you tell me, I think I need to do a different color on that, like on the background. I think I should leave this part blue and do like the background silver, maybe. I have silver um, right here. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Okay, so I don't need a ton of that. I'm going to peel my transfer. Let's, um, light coat of shimmer frost. Oh yeah, I could do that. Light coat of shimmer frost. Oh, thank you, Deb. I will, oh, have a, have a great day at work. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could do shimmer frost in the back. I could just, um, how about if I add some water? I'm looking around, where's some water? I'll get some water. <laughs> I'll get my little sprayer and I'll, and I'll thin it down. Okay, yeah, I could do that. So the background. Okay, here's, here's this. Just get it all down so that there are no air bubbles. And then we're just going to chalk the whole thing. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab some of this shimmer frost and just spread it. And I think I have enough. <laughs> I think there's going to be plenty. If you wanted to, you could do green and do red on the cabin, um, whatever you want to do. Totally up to you. I'm just going to do it all one color and then we'll stick it in there and we'll see how it looks. I know, I'm, kind of, I'm thinking that I need another color to break up the background, that this is just going to be too much, too much, too much. I'm trying not to use it all. I think there's some more in the, <laughs> in the packet. I think there's more in the packet. So cover everything, Darlene, and then peel. So this is going to be really pretty. I, I love this on the Shimmer Moonlight. I've done it before, something similar. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? That is gorgeous. Now, when I put it in here, see, I feel like the background needs something different. I feel like the background should be, um, maybe it needs to have like a wash of just the background. Leave this part solid and do a wash. Let's do that. So let me get, let me get water and I'll thin some of this down and we'll do a wash on the back of this. Okay, so let's just do that. I don't need a lot of water. <laughs> I just need a little bit and a brush. And then we'll just do it like a wash on there. Use white speckles. Yeah, I could use white speckles. Um, let me see how it looks. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that this will leave like sparkles here and there. Um, let's see how it does. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna stick my brush in there and see. So if I use my brush and I thin this down, then I think that it's gonna do what you're saying. And I could, I could speckle it. Um, okay, so let's just go over this. And we're just going to make it look like snow. Let's just do sideways. And a little bit more. My chair is up, up against the wall. Let me scratch that out. That's annoying. <laughs> okay, let me dry that. I think that's going to be enough to just break up the color. I know it looks really weird right now. I have so much going on here. Way too much going on. Um, do the frame silver. Yeah, I could I could do the frame silver. Totally, let's, let's look and see how this is. Sometimes you just have to try different things. I think this is gonna do the trick though. So it just kind of looks like a snowstorm going on there. I think this would be good. Um, first for your husband tomorrow. I'm going in tomorrow for some stone flats. Oh gosh, that is so painful. I am so sorry that he's going through that. That is like one of the most painful things. I I think it was more painful than childbirth when I had my my kidney stones. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Oh my board is getting hot. <laughs> Did you see that? You're not supposed to heat up these boards. Okay, so let's put this on here and let's see. I'm kind of thinking I like that. And, the, and then, um, yeah, so that'll look good. 
and guys I am forgetting everything I need my glue <laughs> I think that's gonna be cute like that I think that's gonna be good let me go grab my glue and we are gonna glue these pieces on here so that when it's time to put maybe we'll just get all one done all the way but guys I feel like the dog ate my homework let me grab glue it's one of those days I don't want to just use the hot glue so hang on <laughs> All right, I think this is gonna be gorgeous just like that. So you, you definitely could do silver. Silver would be really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the outside on and I'm gonna use a little bit of hot glue just to hold it so that it um, dries right away, okay? So I'll just, in a couple of areas, I'll put hot glue so that it holds it right away, okay? And then, I can see where there's the line. So there, so there's a circle that's engraved on here, that's edged on here. I can see where that is. Um, so I know exactly where to put that because you want it to be in the right place so that when you put your glow part on, so let's just get one completely done. I'm kind of excited to see how this looks. Make sure that you center this so that it's completely even on the edges, okay? press it down it's going to stay in place just like that okay all right so um i kind of want to make sure that i'm straight up and down on this hi laura how are you i think i i think i missed you hopping on okay this is going to go here so you have to leave room for this to go in okay you want to make sure that you have room oh so I have paint on it from my paintbrush. <laughs> I have blue shimmer on both of them. That's gonna go right in there, okay? So that's gonna fit right in there. So you wanna make sure that that is not too low, okay? So let's do this. Let's get that in there. And let's just finish one. Let's do that. And then we'll do Santa, okay? So I'm gonna get this on here. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue to hold it right away. And then these are not going to be fun to work with. They're staticky. If you can touch dryer sheets, dryer sheets will make it so it's not staticky. I can't do that because I'm allergic to them. So um, I just have to deal with them. They're going to be all over my hands. Okay, so that's just going to go just like that, leaving your area for that, for this to go, the glow part to go in. Make sure that it fits. Okay. So. It's a little tricky because you're going to have to put the glue in there, all, all around there. It's never fun to do that part, okay? So that part is not fun. You could use regular glue and let it sit. We're not going to do that. We're going to do our, let's do our little balls, get those in there. I hope they don't go everywhere. And, and I definitely don't want my dogs eating them. This would not be a good thing for dogs to eat. So I have to make sure that I contain these, that they don't go flying everywhere but they are going to be staticky. <laughs> oh yeah, Lori, go back and watch from the beginning because um, this is a good one. So I'll have, I have about 20 of these globes left. I'm not going to buy more, I decided, but um, you can, some of you guys already have the globe part and you just need the wood. Okay, I'm very carefully opening this so they don't go bloop all over the place. I'd have to grab a vacuum cleaner or something. Anyways very carefully opening look at they're jumping already see they are they are very staticky okay so i'm um, gonna get some out yeah they and you know what um i think i remember that it's best to put them in here right and it doesn't take a lot okay it takes less than you think it's going to take now, if I can just find the glitter stuff, I'll, I'll give you guys the glitter stuff. The glitter stuff is better. Okay, trying to close it. Okay, let me grab these guys. See, look at, they're, they're moving. They're moving on me. They get static in them. <laughs> okay, I wanna contain them. I know, it's so funny, they get static. Okay, so what I have to do is I'm gonna put the glue and then I'm gonna turn that upside down onto it, okay? 
So let me, let me just run my bead of glue around here. I'm gonna do it really fast so that um, it doesn't get cooled before you want it to get cooled, okay? So you're gonna do this. You're gonna run it all the way around. And then this is gonna go on there, okay? So wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck that I can do this. And line it up the right way. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, so, um, and some of them stuck into the glue. It's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. So there might be an easier way to do that. Um, and they'll probably come loose, but I am not even going to worry. I think it's kind of cute like that. There's little snowballs up at the top. All right, so there we go. There's that one. Um, maybe I'll do something a little different next time. I don't know what. I don't know what, but isn't it cute? So there's one. There's one, and it wasn't a disaster. <laughs> I was able to get it in there. So there's one. And then I just have I just have jute. I'm just gonna hang it with jute. I just have this jute. Um, I have ribbon at home that I can tie a little bow. So I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take jute and I'm gonna tie a knot. Okay. Isn't it cute? I think it's so cute. So you can hang that on your Christmas tree or on the wall. I take them to the craft show and I sell them. I don't know what people do with them if they put them on um, a tree. Because sometimes people have a big tree, right? Okay, so one, one's done. That one's done. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Hi, Sandy. How are you? I need a drink of coffee. Sorry about that. Now we're going to do Santa. Santa's going to be our challenge. Like I said, <laughs> he's going to be our little challenge. All right, so we did a partial Santa with the ho, ho, ho up in the corner all right i think these are cute too so you could use these on different things holly jolly and merry christmas those are great little things to use so let's do santa first and then we'll do the ho 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 second okay so i'm going to peel this up i'm not going to fuzz because you know i know it's going down to paint and stuff but i just don't do it i i mean i sometimes i fuzz sometimes i wax not doing it this time Okay, so I'm going to line it up the best that I can. I think that where I painted the mouth is probably going to get covered, but um, so here's the hard thing. The hard thing is that this is all going to be red, and then getting up in here is going to be black. Okay, so I have some black and I have some red. I could just do the whole thing red. I could just make it easy on myself, right? I could. <laughs> I got stuff everywhere. I, I need someone to come clean up for me. <laughs> I could do it the easy way and just do the entire thing red. Um, but I'm not going to. I'll, I want I want a challenge. I want to try to do part of it black. <laughs> oh, hi, Sally. How are you? Hi, Mary Lee. So we got this one done. If you just hopped on. So we did we did this little globe. So we have, a, a, there's a few snow pieces up at the top. It's okay. Sometimes later on they'll come down. Sometimes they're just stuck there forever. It's all right. I'm not worried. And there's a lot stuck at the bottom. So so that's our, that's our first little snow globe. Where's my scissors? There they are. I'm like, where are they? Where'd they go to? Okay, Santa, we're going to do part of you red and part of you black. So I haven't done this one before. So... Um, it'll be a little bit of a challenge, but I think we'll be fine. My my chalk paste, I brought chalk paste singles. So they're not always ideal for me to work with because I just feel sometimes they're not the best. <laughs> like this one doesn't feel like it's really fluid. Like, like I think it's older. Um, yeah, I think it's an older one that might not be as, I don't know, the right, the right consistency. We'll see. We'll find out, right? We will find out. Yeah, it looks like it's a little thick, but I'm not going to add water to it. Okay, going to take my red and let's get let's get our Santa done. And we're gonna we'll go over in um, 
we'll go over the top part with our black I don't know I'm kind of thinking <laughs> do I want to do I want to do it the easy way and just do everything in red I don't know because really his face shouldn't be red his face <laughs> his face should be done with the black okay so there's the red normally I would start at the top I don't know why I didn't um, but we're gonna peel this up so let's peel this up and see what we got because we got to chalk and peel chalk and peel okay so okay yeah that's fur down there at the bottom that looks good that looks good so far looking good okay what i need to do is at the top up here do i have another i don't have another thing i'm going to cut one of these i don't have another detail tool so i'm going to just cut one of my squeegees so i can use that for the black okay so i'm going to get in here and i'm going to do the facial part with my black and then I'll do the top part um, with my red okay so I want to make sure that I am getting all of this so this is this is like his beard and that I didn't want his beard to be red <laughs> I wanted that part to be out outlined in black in his face too okay so um, hat up here is this is red That's black right there. Okay, red over here. And then it's time to peel. It's time to peel already. Okay, I'm gonna use my little my little detail tool right here to get right in there. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> let's see if we did okay. Oh, it looks good, looks good. Okay, so that's why I wanted to do the face that color, guys. <laughs> it looks good so something happened up there at the top I'm gonna just touch it up I'll do so some of some of the red didn't stay up there at the top let's just let's just touch that up let's just use this so for some reason at the top I I don't know maybe I just didn't push hard enough I'm just gonna line that okay so just like that just gonna use the end of my detail tool isn't that cute that is super cute guys that is exactly what I needed it to be. It might not be perfect, but it's it's pretty darn close to where, what I wanted it to be. So, is he cute? He is so cute, even if he's kind of rustic. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with rusty. I could have done his gloves in black. Let's dry this, and I'm gonna do the ho, ho, ho. I, he's gonna be fine, because he's gonna be in there, he's gonna have these little ball things all over him. So, the parts that don't look right, we're not gonna worry about that, right? <laughs> so I'm thinking on this, I'll do the outside part in black and I'll do this, the ho 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 in red. What do you think? I think he's so cute. I think he's gonna be adorable. All right, so here's my ho ho ho. Ho ho ho, Santa. All right, Santa. Let's do, let's do the center part with black. Our ho, ho, ho is going, I mean, sorry, it's gonna be red. Ho, ho, ho is red. The outside is gonna be black. All right. So I probably should pull, pull that up. I should, I should have done that last. <laughs> Let me go over that again. All right, that one area. Sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't work the way you want it to. And I use my little squeegee, my little mini squeegee that I created. You can cut your little minis, so don't ever worry. If you need a, if you need another little small squeegee, you can definitely just cut one. Just cut them. Just get your scissors out and cut it in half. Make, make one. <laughs> and just like, like I did when I, I did a, a make and take and I totally forgot squeegees and I just grabbed gift cards out of my, out of my purse that were like old gift cards. I don't even know why I had them, but you know, we do keep them. <laughs> so we use gift cards to, to, um, to chalk with. Yeah. And it worked. Okay. All right. Don't rip it off like a bandaid. I'm going to fix the ho, ho, ho part. Okay, look at that. Look how cute that is. That is so, so stinking cute, guys. Let me go in a little, little bit so you can see. Look at him. Isn't he cute? I think he's, I think he's really adorable. Okay, I have lots of messy stuff here. 
I do have to clean it all up because I'm going home today. So I have to make sure that I clean it. Um, oh, I needed this, <laughs> Darlene. And I need a little bit of red. Okay, so I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna fix my O and then let's dry this whole thing. It looks good, guys, it's turning out. All right, <laughs> here we go. And now I'm looking at this background. Is this background too, too much that color? Maybe I should paint this background with some of that um, shimmery color. I'm kind of thinking that. Make sure it's all, all dry. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna go right in there. Oh, maybe it's, it's, you know, I think it's a good enough contrast. Okay, so I wanna do the same thing. I wanna glue these in place. All right, so I'm gonna glue this in place and then we'll put our little ball things in there and we'll be done. All right, so I'm leaving a little bit of area for a for my hot glue right there, there, and there, and there. And that just holds it in place. You guys don't have to do that because you can just let it sit at home. I just need to do that so you guys aren't waiting for 20 minutes. Get it in place, make sure that it is lined up completely, and then you're just gonna press down on it. And then I'm gonna get some of that glue out of there. Where's the paper towel? <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some of that glue out. Okay, next I'm gonna put Santa in, and I can see where it needs to be, and it's going to barely fit, okay? So it is gonna fit, but it's gonna barely fit. So he has to be in there just right. Okay. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. I think he's I think he's adorable. I'm thinking he's adorable. All right. So I I haven't posted these yet. I may not get these posted until I get home because what I've done right here, I'm gonna rest for a little bit and I'm gonna pack and then I have to head home. So um I may not get the kids posted until tonight, so just be patient with me, please. Um, oh, I want that to be like that. Don't want my Santa sideways, right? So there's my thing. Okay, so then press down so it can stay in place. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do this one a little bit better and not have, um, not have too many of our little balls stuck at the top. Although I'm really not that worried about it, honestly. It's not a big deal. Okay, so you're going to put some of your... Some of your ball things. Let's make sure it still fits too. Okay, it does. Good. Okay, gonna put some of these into here. It doesn't take as many as you would think. Okay, it doesn't. All right. So if you think that you need to add a ton, you really don't because they gather at the bottom. Okay. So look at this one. So when this is hanging, that's plenty, just like that. It's plenty, just like that. So when it's laying down, it's gonna cover the whole thing. Okay. So I think, I think it's going to look good just like that. Okay, perfect. All right. I could have done shimmer on the back. <laughs> you know what? You can do whatever you want to, but look at, see what, see what just painting um, the, the blush color in there did? It really helped out. And then the tongue. Okay. So, and then these colors here, it really helped the design. I could have went so far as doing, um, doing those gloves black, but maybe he has red gloves, right? Okay, so I need to take my hot glue gun and go around. I need to be ready with another stick in case. Um, and you know what, guys? I actually, you don't have to go all the way around. So honestly, um, you don't. So I'm just going to do part of it. I'm just going to do part here, part there. You don't have to do the whole thing because it's just going to hold it. Okay. And then we're going to tip this upside down and put this on here. And I just, I can feel it and I can put it in place. So now the thing to do would be if you didn't want those, those um, balls to go into the hot glue, you would just keep this upside down like that. Okay. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip it down this way so that all my, all my balls go to the bottom, just like that. Okay. So if they get stuck anywhere, they're going to get stuck at the bottom. Isn't that cute? So you could use less if you want. Um, that might be a lot, but when it when it's um, sitting like this on a tree, it's going to be perfect. Okay. So then I'm going to put my little hanger at the top, and we're going to be done. 
<laughs> I'm just going to grab some jute if I can find the end of it. I had the end earlier. I'm just going to make an end. <laughs> oh, there's an end. Okay, do you ever just do that? Go, I, I'm just going to cut it in the center because I can't find the end. All right, so that so that's how that one was easier because I thought about it. I thought about how do I want this to be, okay? And then I'm going to tie a knot in jute. That's too long, Darlene. Do it a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. Let me just um, do that again. Tie a knot, and then we're just going to thread that through. Okay, so let me do that. Let's cut this off. <laughs> I have so much to clean up. Okay, I'm going to thread it through the hole. So I just, I just fold it in half, thread it through the hole, and then I just open that up and grab the tail. And there's my little hanger. So now I have two little snow globes. Aren't they cute? Which one's your favorite? And you could put a lot less in there. The little shimmery stuff is great too. Um, the little shimmers. See, this one has less in it. <laughs> but when it's, when it's up like this, you can see almost all of the Santa just like um, down to his, um, his belt. All right, those need to go in a Ziploc because I don't need them going everywhere in my truck. <laughs> These are sprinkling, guys. I appreciate it. I love I love them both. Which is your favorite? Do you have a favorite? I, I think this would look pretty with silver on the outside. So you can make a decision on what you want to do. I love the house, too. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let me just put you up to myself and I'll say goodbye and I will be resting for just a little bit longer and then I'll be packing. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Um, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>